creativity ideas innovation change leadership development youth in entrepreneurship only on radio riyaz 96.8 megahertz Welcome back you're listening to 96.8 Nepali ko awaaz Radio Riaz and today we have Sabona Limbu with us we are talking about the art of you and also about entrepreneurship so Sabona uh, what do you think uh, makes an entrepreneur a true entrepreneur um the very first thing that popped out popped up on my mind right now is leadership yes. having the qualities of a le- uh, 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 having the qualities of a leader because I myself being in this field right now I've realized that there are a lot of uh, things that are now I have to start reconsidering and uh, being an entrepreneur means you're responsible not only for yourself but to a large group of people so the qualities of a leadership is one of the very significant um uh what do you say aspect aspect yes. of being an entrepreneur So how important do you think is family education and how has your family helped you become an entrepreneur? Well, um I'm a daughter of a single mother, so my mother is a single parent. She's an amazing woman <laughs> and uh she she has taught me education in a very different manner. She has let me be who I am. She has let me explore my full potential and she's never stopped me from doing anything that I want she's always encouraged me if there was from participating in various events to like singing my heart out to like dancing she has let me be the best of me i must say and well she her teacher she was a teacher before so we used to have when i was a kid i remember her teaching me uh, during tuitions and stuff but going on in life i think that she herself being a very strong and independent woman i i had a lot to learn from her as well yes so uh, it seems like your family has had a very um, significant impact on your yes, career she did. <laughs> so uh, who is uh, who has inspired you the most and have you had any mentors in your life well my like i said earlier that i'm a very observant person and My mentors cannot just be one person. I have various people, amazing, and I'm very thankful at times. I know the person might be smiling right now. I mean, those people know who they are. Those people have made life even more meaningful when they have given words of encouragement, you know? So I so it relates when I see the art of you as a platform where people are there to rightly guide you. then it makes a difference maybe if i had really not taken up the courage taken up the chance to really be my full self then today i would not be here presenting the art of you there are there are wonderful people that i meet articulate intelligent smart and very compassionate people that i come across at work at home so everywhere that i go i feel that there is always something to learn so i feel like even experiencing life itself is like a mentor for me <laughs> yeah so So there are no specific person that you would want to name in the show. Mm. Well, there are many of them and I don't want to leave out any of them. So well, I must they will definitely know when I when I'm talking about this. They're just amazing people, y- young women and and br- like you know, they have really done a lot in life. So I just look at them and I and I feel encouraged as such. Okay. Yes. Um so what are the challenges that you face as an entrepreneur especially being a woman entrepreneur Well actually I think the concept of feminism has kind of I I'm not entirely sure if I can uh but this is like my meaning what I feel is like as such is like sometimes you have to learn to stand up yourself you cannot keep blaming the outside element of saying that uh, that because of him or her that i cannot reach my full potential so we cannot i have not faced uh like uh, discrimination is my in my gender as such but i know there are various cases and various situations as such culturally that makes it hard for the women to stand up 
But I also feel that now in this time, a lot of women we are educated, we are we've been exposed to a lot of things, so we cannot blame right now. You know, we have to really learn to stand up. We have to learn to raise our hands up before we blame it on others and mm. actually say that oh, it's because of him and her that I'm not being able to achieve so, something. So, uh, do you consider yourself as a feminist? I consider. I remember once I had uh, an interview for talking about the meaning behind feminism, and I I just re- clearly remember saying, uh, how the question was how do you empower feminism? I said it was the freedom of choice, and to have a freedom of choice is not something that can be taken from someone else. It is you yourself who has to learn to stand up. If we go on looking out for If we do not look deep into ourselves first, we have to be first and self encouraged to really say that you know, I can do it or you know I can stand up for it. It has to be. It has to start with us first. So many times I think feminism has taken this wrong sort of a toll where you think that male are being suppressing towards or being. I mean, a uh, male are being dominant oh. towards uh, women and they are suppressing women. I think in now's time, it's it has kind of neutralized. So we still can't. I mean there I know that certain situations but I think being at a place in an organization or we do have the choice to stand up and say something so I hope you're I mean every all the listeners there understanding what I'm saying yes. feminism and empowerment of feminism to me means freedom of choice and that freedom of choice comes from you yourself so it is living in this time right now where everything has been sort of neutralized and there are no boundaries as such I mean in rural parts as such there are but in 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 work and organizations I think it has kind of changed so right now we really have to see the choice that we make and stop blaming others for it. Yes, it has changed but uh, you know there is always this uh, someone will always pass a comment when you are just walking by s- since you are a very beautiful girl y- yourself. So uh, how do you react in those situation if someone just passes a comment, eve teases you or tries to harass you in some way? Has it ever happened to you or have you seen anyone suffering from those kind of harassments and what do you do at that okay. moment? Right now I basically talk, talked about organizations yes. and the change that has already been set upon various organizations that implement giving equal rights, rights to both genders. Yes. Now talking about situations where uh, girls are are made very very vulnerable and being a victim of abuse, then I have to say that it is high time that 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 people realize to respect women in those grounds you know and in uh, like i mean i ha- i do hear comments and people do it's it, it's been they've been doing it for a very long time and it, i think that sometimes it's we have stopped getting shocked by yes, their comments yes. because it's, it's, it's become normal thing yeah you know, and so. i think you i like i said from the empowerment of feminism is freedom of choice so you s- turn right back at them and you say you better not do this next time i walk across yes. your way so do you do that when you <laughs> walk in if yes, somebody yes of course <laughs> and i <laughs> i mean like of course all all of my sisters and friends we <laughs> we always stand up for something that's not right so you have to even if i think even if for if if it is a male or a female whichever gender as such if anybody passes a comment Uh, that is not right so you have to really stop and say that you what look what you're doing should stop yeah so with that note uh, we are taking another short commercial break uh, we'll be right back after the riaz business box